Welcome back in the kitchen. I got a chef record of cooking show, guys. It's amazing to be in the kitchen giving you a favorite recipe. You know, when I'm in the kitchen, it's something fantastic and an amazing to give it to you and to share it with you. Anyway, um, now, to be honest, I've been using the season over the last couple of days, and honestly, I find it really amazing. And I'm just have to share my experience with you guys that if you are interested in getting one of these master roasts, master, no, master roasted on grill seasoning 18 different kind of season in it all of the information is in the description box please go down in the description box you can use the code chef ricardo and get 20 percent of anything on that website all right the website is in the description box anyway carbian fuse fuse f-u-s-i-o-n fuse spice on sauce all right don't get confused i want you guys to just check out their link and you know what? I make this an, an amazing fish dish with it. Guys, it was amazing. It is fantastic. The flavor, the taste, the texture. It was right on time. Honestly, I didn't use nothing on it except this. All right. Now, I have one which I'm going to be using also. Turkey rub. I'm going to be using this one. And the beautiful thing about the season, they are low in soya, sodium. And also, they are gluten-free. And also, not only that, them they are vegan friendly. So you must know that exactly. Vegan, gluten free, yeah, welcome. They just be herbs in it, and that's what we need. You know, they have they don't have a lot of salt in it and all these things. So it's just really healthy and better for you to use to cook with at home. I get this season for me to try, and I'm sharing with you my audience. Guys, check out their website in the description box. Follow them on Instagram, Facebook. And trust me, you will get some lovely season on their website. 20% using Chef Ricardo cooking. Anything you buy on their website, it is amazing. Stay tuned in and I will see you in the kitchen. Steer. Show gonna stop. Welcome back in the kitchen with Chef Ricardo cooking show, guys. Today, we're going to be doing you a fantastic recipe of cauliflower rice. The cauliflower rice, here it is. You can get this in the supermarket if you buy or you can buy your own cauliflower and grate it. Yeah, but um, I grate my one earlier because I say it's going to be taking a little bit longer. Um, basically, um, I want to introduce you to the season which I'm going to be using on my cauliflower rice today. This is a master and roast and grill seasoning. All right, 18 different kind of seasoning in it. It's from the Caribbean Fuse. And honestly, the in the description box, they have all the information in the video of the description box. All right. The thing I like about it, it is fr it is vegan friendly, and also it is low in soya, soya, and also it is also um, it's also uh, it is a vegan free, and it also a uh, dairy free, and also it also um, have eighteen different recipe inside of it, eighteen, you know, eighteen, one eight different kind of herbs, and all of these herbs is all natural ingredients, low in salt. A lot of people like season with low in salt, like me. I don't like too much salt. So when I come across this season, trust me, I said to myself, you know what? I have to buy this season. I have to try it out. So I tried it out and I said to them, so definitely I want to introduce my audience with this 18 different kind of season. They all have different kind of season and all of them are low in salt. They have all the jerk seasoning. Yeah. They have all this I want to say spicy fish fry seafood seasoning and all of them is vegan friendly and they are low in sodium all right and not only that allergy free so you are pretty good to go guys honestly and not only that we like about the other day the ingredients what they do they lay it out properly that they can see exactly what inside of it and what's going on all right now the thing is i want to make a beautiful dinner today and i'm going to be showing you exactly what i'm going to be doing in the kitchen first of all let's turn on my stove and get the frying pan ready so this is the one which i'm going to be using um the first thing i'm going to do cauliflower doesn't take long to cook um to be honest with you you can use this light spray oil you understand if you're a person who not really interested in a whole of fat then like me myself i like to use light spray oil but sometimes i give myself a little bit of treat by using some olive oil all right so what we're going to do because i'm going to be doing fish and i'm going to be doing cauliflower so in the cauliflower pan i'm going to spray it out with some light spray oil if you want 
you can also use your olive oil or your whatever oil you have at your home but I'm always introducing you to my light spray oil it is very nice to use at home all right the thing with with the cauliflower rice which I'm going to be doing I'm going to show you exactly how I'm going to be doing my cauliflower rice all right because I like to use a lot of softening on my cauliflower rice so what I'm going to do I'm going to add some garlic inside of it all right yeah man some garlic inside of the cauliflower rice it's going to bring in a lovely flavor because I love my garlic in cauliflower rice trust me it's bringing a lovely flavor to it so I use two cloves of garlic beautiful as you can see and now what I'm going to do is get myself some white onion red onion I'm using some red onion I don't know why I'm talking about white onion red onion all right lovely and nice so using some red onion and I'm just gonna simple cut it up a little bit small like this beautiful put them in straight in the front pan you can use white onion if you have white onion it's up to you you got an option whatever you want to use it's up to you guys honestly but this is what I'm gonna be using I got some tomato I'm gonna be using some tomato because I like a lot of vegetables in my food all right that is fantastic and amazing beautiful all right now the thing is to be honest with you you don't need to be a fry I got a recipe which also I'm gonna come in with cauliflower rice so if you're a person who watch Chef Ricardo live sometime then you will see exactly what I'm gonna be doing with the cauliflower rice fantastic now I get my beautiful cauliflower and I'm just using roughly about a cup of cauliflower all right to be honest the cauliflower rice doesn't take long to cook guys it's very very easy to cook all right so basically not gonna take long what I'm gonna do is get this season right here this is the master roasted and grilled seasoning 18 different seasoning inside of it so hopefully you guys can see exactly what I've been doing right here so what I'm gonna do is wait this this one okay all right I'm gonna be using this one inside of it because a man look at that beer herbs natural I love this one man it's amazing fantastic guys all the information is in the description box I'm gonna put roughly about half teaspoon of it right on top of it just like this beautiful nice and lovely take a little time give this a stir the cauliflower does not take long to cook it's a very easy vegetable to cook all right nice one and honestly you don't need to add nothing else to this this 18 season alone is pretty enough for it it smells amazing beer herbs in it guys beer herbs put a little bit more I don't know what happened to be honest with you it does not have a lot of salt inside of it that's the whole thing about with it all right now the thing is I got a spring onion which also I'm gonna put inside of my cauliflower rice you can add whatever you want to add in it guys honestly vegetable I even do the, uh, a curry cauliflower the other day so I'm gonna show you that video it's gonna come up very soon so you just take a little time and just fry up a cauliflower like this you know getting that lovely and amazing flavor beautiful one look at that and it does not take long guys honestly so if you're a person you don't the reason why I put in the cauliflower you don't want your vegetable to be cooking out too much you know what I mean you want to make sure you have a lot of vegetables in it you know what I mean and the vegetable them also have a lot of fiber so the beautiful thing about the 18 different kind of season the thing with them they're located in America honestly when they said to me, Mr. Chef Ricard, I needed to try my season. And I said, no. I cooked with it the other day and I'll tell you something, guys. It was amazing. 
and I say, you know, I need to introduce my audience to this season. So if you're in the United States of America, you can get this season. Go down into the description box. You can go to carbonfuse.com and get their season. And if you use the code Chef Ricardo, you get 20% off. That is amazing. I said to them, say, listen, you need to talk. You know what I mean? I have to make my audience and know exactly what's going on. So basically, as you can see, you know what I mean? Sometimes you don't want to cook rice. Sometimes you don't want to cook, you know what I mean, some dumpling. Sometimes you don't want to cook um, couscous or some, you want to try some vegetable and stuff. So basically, with the cauliflower rice, it come in really handy for you at home. And it's not hard to cook. It's easy, you know. Wash off the cauliflower, grate it up, and this is what happened. Look at that. Beautiful cauliflower rice, guys. It is amazing. Now, as I say, it doesn't take long to cook. It's very easy to cook, and you don't want to overcook it. Mm. Amazing. Wow. Wow. That is fantastic. The season bringing that beautiful flavor. Uh -uh. That is just lovely. And to be honest, you do not want to overcook the couscous, the cauliflower rice. Sorry, guys. You just want to make it sure that it's kind of like of that flavor inside of it. So right here, this is perfect for me. Honestly, I'm not telling you no lie. Because I don't want to overcook it too much. And not only that, the master grill and roast bring out the flavor. That's all you need to add to it. This. This right here, guys. That's all you need to add to it. Nothing else. With the season and the garlic and the bits of whatever just add to it to mine. But the reason why I put my tomato and stuff in my class, I like it this way. Alright. You can do it your way how you want to do it. But in my next video, what I'm going to show you how to do the curry cauliflower rice. It is amazing. So basically, let's try this one now again. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Perfect. Mm. Yeah, it's amazing. Wow. Fantastic. Look at that. Amazing. Now, once you do that, to be honest, once you do that, guys, honestly, you are pretty good to go. Let's, what we're going to do, put this one side and it keeps steaming. All right. Now, the thing is, right over here, before I even do anything else, all right, before I do anything else, what I want to show you to you. Um, all right, sorry, hopefully, um, let's turn off this one right here, all right, I'll turn off my stove, all right, then what I'm going to do is just simple, share this with you, all right, now, hold on the first, hold on the first place, right. now, this is my sea bass fish right here, I just want to make sure you guys can see exactly what's going on because of the, the way the, the camera set. This is the sea bass fish, all right? Look what I'm gonna be doing. I'm telling you this. You don't, this is you, exactly you need to do at home in your kitchen. This is the fish. I wash it off into some lemon juice. You can use your lemon juice or your white vinegar and wash your fish. So now, I get this season where well, I tell you something. This is what I did the other day. I get this season, it got 18 different kind of season inside of it, alright? Also, you can use this one, go on their website and get this one too. Spicy fry fish with seafood seasoning, alright? This one is also lovely, but to be honest, I like this one. I love this one. So what I'm going to do, give it a shake up and I'm good to go. I'm going to simple. Oh, let's use this side. I'm just going to simple put this like this. All right, just like this, and then over on this side. All right, this is all. This is all I did on the fish the other day, and I really enjoyed. You know the reason why? Because it does not have a lot of salt, and I don't like the seasoning with a lot of salt. So what you do? You just rub on that on it like this. All right, now let's move this one side. It's a little bit warm. All right. 
So, what I'm gonna do is get my frying pan back. That's my frying pan right over there, which I want to fry my fish into. All right, now, remember I told you before, I'm gonna be using a little bit of olive oil inside of this one right over here. Roughly about a tablespoon of olive oil, not much olive oil. That's all I'm even gonna do. Hold on at first, I may put a little bit more on this one. Because I love this season, it's just beer herbs in it. And it's very nice when you can find fish um, with just like beer herbs, natural thing. Oh wow. Then now, I'll tell you something guys. Sometimes you can make your oil get really hot, but don't have to make it get too hot. Can you just sprinkle it and fry it and mess up your whole counter. So what you do, once you get a little bit warm, I'm going to turn on my stove a little bit now, like that. Beautiful. The master grill season is the best in the world. I love it. And then, just put in the fish like this. I'm going to allow that part to fry. Slow fry. That is fantastic. You don't need to add nothing else right here. That's it. You're pretty good to go. The thing what I like about the season, guys, it doesn't have a lot of salt. And the only thing I want to say to you, it does natural herbs in it. So basically, you have to try it for yourself and see. Alright? I try it for myself and I prove it. Look at that. Look at that. An amazing fish right there. That is fantastic. And an amazing. So that's exactly what I'm talking about. Right there. Alright? That's looking good. That is just perfect. Really, 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 really perfect. So now, what we're going to do is, yeah, make that fish, you want to slow fry the fish, you know, and then just take a little time and shake the frying pan, that's the end, you know, no sticking that going on right there. That's done really perfectly. All right. I love that fish, man. Wow, it's amazing. That is lovely. All right, now, that's the cauliflower rice right here. Look at that, amazing. So now, as you can see exactly what's going on, we have, I've got some vegetable which we are so gonna use, so. Stay right there guys and look what's going on in the kitchen. Shout out to every one of you guys who are watching. Do not go anywhere. Watch this an amazing one right here guys. This is fantastic, lovely and also delicious. Honestly. Yeah, this is just delicious and an amazing. Beautiful. So what you want to do? Take your time and just put it over to the other side and to the other side. All right. And it does not take long to fry. Now, the thing is, I want to get a lemon. I feel that line, you can use it. Yeah, that's simple. Let's put some lemon inside of the pot like this. Yeah. If you got lime, lime use lime. Got some juice. Simple, put on the fish, you know. Nice when you fry fish and you got a lot of juice for it. Look at that. Beautiful one. And an amazing. Wow. That is fantastic. Now the thing is, I'll give you a little bit of a secret. Sometimes when I'm frying my fish, I normally get the foil. And I just wrap it like this. But if you have a pot lid, you can use it. But when you use a foil, wow. The fire just hold it down, I don't know, for some reason, 
it hold it and it just cook it the way you want it to cook really perfect and nice now over here this is the cauliflower rice as you can see fantastic and an amazing nothing else you don't need nothing else on this guys honestly it's just perfect next time i will show you how to do your cauliflower rice curry cauliflower rice all right amazing wow ah. It's fantastic. Hopefully you guys will love this one. This one's gonna be amazing. This will be amazing. Shout out to every one of you guys who are watching. Alright. Remember you can get your cauliflower rice. John! Big up yourself. Welcome to the show. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I didn't see what you have to say. What you have to say? Let me see what I think of what you just said. Hello. I don't see you. What's going on? Oh, okay. Yeah. Season. Oh, John, what you say? It's outlet. Repeat again, Susan, big up yourself. Susan, Susan, or Susan, Susan, or whatever. Big up yourself, welcome. Alright. Nice one. Let me see what I'm going on. We've got some vegetable over here. Alright, now, look at the fish. Let me show you something. Try and do this at home. But do not burn up yourself, alright? Please. Put the lemon. Look at that. So basically, the lemon bringing a lovely and an amazing flavor to the fish. All right, look at that. Just do not burn up yourself at home when you're going to do this. All right. Because the fish doesn't take long to cook, guys. Honestly. So basically, when you cook the fish like this, it bringing that an amazing flavor. And the fish does not dry out. Because when you cook the fish and it dry out, you can't taste nothing. You need to taste something, alright? So that looking good. Wow, look at that fish, man. It's cooking really lovely and nice. And it's going to be in a slow cooking. The juice of the lemon is just going straight inside of it. The season, it is amazing. Anyway, this is the season right here which I've been using. You can use a fish one, you can use a mask. This one is amazing. And not only that, they got a one where it's gonna call him turkey rub. Wow. Be your herbs. Be your natural herbs in it, guys. See that look. Turkey rub. I will be doing something with this very soon. Wow. Look at that. That is amazing. And the fish does not dry out. That's the only thing I like. Lovely. Wow. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. Wow. Wow. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Fantastic and an amazing. That's exactly what I'm talking about. The fish must look good. Alright? Now that's the lemon frying all these things. Beautiful. Wow. Oh yeah. Let's turn off that stove man. That's that's enough now. Cause I don't want the fish to dry out. I want it to have some flavor, but at the same time you have to make sure it cook good. Alright, now remember in the description box there's a link for their fish for their season. Caribbean fuse. Go and get it guys, honestly. You have to taste it. This is this they're located in the United States. And honestly, you have to just try it for yourself. You use the code Chef Ricardo, you get a percentage off. Check them out. Support, as I said, support your local business in your area. That's why I always preach it. You know what I mean? Support your local business in your era. Support your local, local business. See it here? Yeah? Caribbean. But I'm telling you, they have one of the first. They got their own jerk season. Get ready for summer, guys. Yeah. 
Let's send me this one too. This one is a mild one and I have the hot one. Yeah, get ready for summer. Get ready for summer. So you're gonna fry it if you know you have to go do some barbecue in the back garden. <laughs> Spring is around the corner. Then summer, wow. You need to do some fish and thing on, on the grill. Lovely, nice. Now the thing is, I'm gonna shear up this food so the fish is ready. You don't wanna overcook the fish. As I said, I don't like to overcook food. I mean, I like to cook well done and nice. All right. Wicked. All right. Got uh, some steamed vegetable, which we're going to be all using also. So if you get your plate, just like this, that is lovely and an amazing. Look at this. Then you get your nice, lovely cauliflower rice. As I said, Cauliflower rice doesn't take long to cook guys, it's very easy, simple and quick. Look at that, fantastic and amazing, colorful and thing. You know, just keep it simple. You don't need to stress yourself when you're making cauliflower rice. Now, I have a recipe for cauliflower rice tomorrow morning. About 10 o'clock I will be releasing the video. You're gonna see that one. Only chef recording of the world have it. Cauliflower rice. Wow. Can't go wrong. We've got some natural steamed vegetable. Look at this. Fresh and nice. Alright? And that's how you want your vegetable them to look. Don't overcook. They must look really, really nice. Be a vegetable. Meat free Monday. Some people don't like fish still, but uh, you know what I mean? Sometimes you have to eat some fish. Look at that. Fantastic and an amazing. Now, the thing is, get your lemon also. This is your fish. Look at that, beautiful and an amazing and fantastic. Fantastic guys, look at that. Lovely and delicious. Meat free Monday, sometimes we can do this and not that. Fantastic guys, honestly. All right, now, tell me this now guys. All right, I want you to tell me the truth. What do you think about this? The only thing what you don't wanna do now, is to finish it off with some like this. Let's finish it off. You know, let's get the avocado. Alright, just gonna get the avocado. Tell me now guys, look at that fish. Beautiful, nice, very simple, and also delicious. Nothing complicated right there. But as I said, this is how Chef Ricardo normally do it in the kitchen when we are cooking. And I want every one of you guys to happy. So what you can also do is grab yourself some avocado right here. Beautiful and nice. That's some avocado. That is fantastic and an amazing. Lovely, delicious. The flavor, the taste. The only thing I would do because you know the season doesn't have a lot of salt. I don't even need to put any salt on it. Just keep it simple, just like that. It's beautiful, lovely, delicious. So all that finish do now is you know, get yourself some some parsley. I have some parsley left over, which I would just simply finish it off. With a little bit of a parcel. Alright, just like this. Beautiful and nice. Thank you so much for watching Chef Ricardo Show. Got a lot more recipes, a lot more ideas will be coming from Chef Ricardo and the team. Please tell a friend and a friend tell a friend. Master Roasted Grill we've been using in the kitchen. John, big up yourself. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, man. It's amazing. This is what you're talking about in the kitchen with. Chef Ricardo, look at that. That is fantastic, amazing. The whole texture of everything is just lovely and also delicious. All right, please tell a friend and a friend tell a friend. As you can see it for yourself, look at that beautiful one. That is just amazing one, guys. Yes, John. May I tell about? May I tell you? May I tell you? May I tell you? Vanessa, thank you so much for tuning into the show. We got a lot more recipes. And a lot more ideas will be coming from Chef Ricardo, alright?
please tell a friend and a friend tell a friend so as you can see for yourself that is exactly what I'm ta Katia what's going on <laughs> cooking with the Caribbean fuse all right nice one thank you so much check out the Caribbean fuse guys man tell you they they are amazing fantastic everything with them I do is just delicious but as I said that's exactly what I'm talking about look at this that is just lovely delicious the flavor everything cauliflower rice with sea bass fish oh my god you know I did a cauliflower um, some sea bass fish earlier so that's the picture you was looking at probably on my on my page at the moment but this is amazing in the description box guys go down in it all the information about them follow them on instagram facebook and they they, they they got their own youtube channel also go over caribbean fuse and support them you know what i mean support your local business in your area that's what i'm preaching right now guys trust me cauliflower rice with vegetable and some sea bass fish what more do you want anyway tomorrow i will be releasing a new video or i did my cauliflower omelette if you want <laughs> guys some normal thing that's going on right now in the kitchen i did that one for breakfast all right cauliflower this one where i did yesterday cauliflower omelette that one no normal in the kitchen all right and i decided to do a live on it to show you because the, the problem the thing is guys sometimes we have egg in the in the fridge and you end up have to put them in the bin so now i have egg if you have egg, try and get some egg if you're on, 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 in the shop or somewhere. We're going to show you how to do this omelette. Cauliflower omelette with egg. Guys, it is amazing. So you don't need to throw in no more egg. Alright? You're going to have to save some money. Alright? Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. And as I said, check out the Caribbean Fuse. Their season is amazing. Their season is fantastic. Less salt. And also... It is vegan friendly and not only that gluten free. Uh, so, Katie Ricardo, you are the best. Thank you so much. Follow me on Instagram, Katie. You're not doing that. You need to follow me on Instagram and on my Facebook page, Chef Ricardo Cooking. Vanessa, thank you so much for watching. All right. As I say, stay safe and blessed and check out the carbon fuse. Nicole, welcome to Chef Ricardo Show, guys. It is amazing. Nicole, you're all right. <laughs> thank you so much. Nicole, oh, you check out Nicole YouTube channel now. They're going on with a lot of stuff about that. Nicole, you need to get these kind of season, man, for cook with. Their season is amazing. This season, right here. They are located in the United States of America. You can get your season, guys. Get it. 18 different kind of season in the master roasted grill seasoning. All right? Not only that, they got their own jerk seasoning. All right, they got uh, they got this one which I love. So love turkey rub. I will be doing something very quickly with this one to show you what you can do with that one at home. All right, they got the spice. This one is an all-purpose seasoning. And the thing about what I like about the seasoning is just is just beer. You know, when you look at it, beer herbs. You can see the whole pack. Uh, no, 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 man. Beer herbs. It's fantastic. And you have to add a little bit of salt guys that's the most important thing because i hate when i buy season and you know what i mean this whole heap of salt then and the most important thing they are vegan friendly all right gluten free you're welcome thank you so much for watching chef for show as i said tune in we've got a lot more recipes and a lot more ideas will be coming from chef for and the team and please follow me on instagram and on my facebook page all right as you can see for yourself live on facebook and live on youtube so thank you so much guys for watching all right